our privilege to proclaim you an ambassador for peace. The Consulate General of the Republic of Korea presented six veterans with Ambassador of Peace medals for their service during the Korean War. I was whatever they needed, whatever kind of an officer, because they didn't know what to do with women in those days. I don't even know if they know now. But then they didn't, and so whatever they needed at a base that I was sent to, that's what I was. And it was great. The Korean War began in June of 1950 when North Korean troops crossed the 38th parallel. By July, American troops entered on behalf of South Korea. And while this conflict has been coined the Forgotten War, the South Koreans called it the Forgotten Win. You know, the, the, this year, very special year, the, because uh, we celebrate the 70th anniversary of Korea-U.S. alliance. The, taking this opportunity, I came here to honor the, you know, the Ambassador Medal for Peace to Korean War veterans who didn't get yet uh, that medal. The six Korean War veterans enjoyed interacting with the South Korean delegation at the Idaho Veterans Home in this surprise ceremony. I can't believe I, I, I got this. Why in the world did they give me this wonderful thing? You know, I mean, I, I, I about fell off my chair. The Korean War ended after three years, but 40,000 American troops lost their lives in a fight for democracy, beginning a longtime partnership with South Korea. Nowadays, we have a new collaboration chapter that because of the, the uh, beyond the security alliance, the Korea and U.S. in co the cooperate in the every field, like economy, security, and also the global, the, you know, the issues like dealing with Ukraine and the climate change or emerging technologies. We should never forget the Korean War veterans sacrifice, even if they have a hard time remembering back to 1953 when the war ended. Oh, heavens, it was so long ago to realize I'm 91. <laughs> I never would have guessed. It was a few years ago. <laughs> Steve Dent, Auto News 6.